Hi traders, welcome to a uh, weekly recap. So let's see if we have a sound. I think that uh, we should have a good sound. Uh, let's do a quick sound check. Uh, so uh, weekly Forex recap, January 14th. So uh, we are going uh, with uh, our setups again. We had some small break, but now everything is fine. And we are going, uh, as always, the same time, Monday, a weekly Forex recap. So before uh, we start, uh, let me uh, tell you a quick uh, risk disclaimer explaining uh, all the risks associated with Forex market. The CFD and Forex are leveraged products can result in losses that exceed your deposits and uh, they are not suitable for everyone. Please ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and have in mind that uh, this is my personal opinion only. So everything you see here today is my personal opinion only, okay? Uh, so, uh, trading rules for our session recap, give price a breathing room, we enter within the POC zone, uh, always add a spread to your stop loss, even if you trade via ECN, add 2 to 5 pip spread depending on pair traded, for equities also add a spread to your stop loss, for commodities also. We take only one position per listed pair, so it's either a position or a alternative trade, whichever hits first. First touch of the zone is the most profitable, that is why we need to focus on the first touch. Positional trades are called trend trades. Alternative trades are counter trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. Uh, for Forex guys, also depending on time and volatility, use profit stop after 20 pips, but not less. Also for equities and commodities. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes a day after tomorrow. And of course, pay attention to my Twitter updates. Add these levels to your system, and of course, never move your stop loss because your, uh, our stop loss is based on the risk that uh, we take, okay? Uh, we didn't have any trades uh, for the previous week, so we will start with setups uh, today, guys. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. So if you have any questions, just feel free, guys, to ask me. For Euro dollar, guys, uh, we have uh, alternative sell and positional uh, buy trade. Alternative sell is 1.1550 with a stop loss of 1580, stop loss 1490. For positional buy trade, 1440 is a buy trade, 1410 is a stop loss, and TP is 1550. Uh, so let me open the chart so you will uh, see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm running a triple monitor setup again, guys. And this is it. This is our live account uh, here. Live account with FXDD broker. I need to tell you guys that we, uh, both Chris and I, and Elite Currency, made a good partnership also with ForexDD. So we are also using their uh, platform for trading. Uh, we see ten thousand uh, dollars live server. Uh, so guys, uh, yeah, as I always say, it's good to have a live account. Although if you trade with a smaller or bigger accounts you need to first uh, trade on demo account then when you're sure about your trading you should of course uh, switch to live account trading and uh, this is uh, a euro dollar as you can see the euro dollar is going uh, as uh, basically as, as in the zigzag in the form of zigzag uh, here what you see is my uh, this is my uh, template it's a uh, camarilla MACD uh, mtf my main method of trading and here, guys, you can see uh, how the things look like. Basically, uh, euro dollar going upward. Uh, this is now a zigzag. Uh, I would go long from 1440. So if the price drops here, I would go long. If the price goes up, I would go short. That is my opinion. So 1550 is a short trade. We have a zigzag here. The zigzag actually is in a form of a mini channel that has formed right now with this zigzag and it's narrowing but as i'm saying this is uptrend and uh, this could be actually also a long trade here uh, possible short trade 1550. Uh, that is uh, what i think it can happen with the euro dollar marco is saying fantastic template i like it yes marco Basically, I, guys, I really spent a lot of, lot of uh, effort and a lot of, lot of uh, uh, 
uh, dedication. I mean, if I can say a lot of dedication, yeah, I'm very, very dedicated to what I do. And I always try to be a professional in what I do. And this template is really brilliant. It gives us a lot of tips. For example, we had today uh, Australian dollar trades and we are still running a trade in Australian dollar. And I'm very happy how it goes because, uh, you know, it's like, you know, we have a signal on the template and we just verify from a trader's mind if the signal is correct. If the signal is correct, we go long and short. Yeah. So uh, I, I hope that you actually also guys like it. Uh, yeah, I see comments, guys. Uh, I need to actually turn my head to uh, other monitor because, as I'm saying, I'm running a triple monitor monitor setup now. And uh, yeah, uh, the question: Do you give recap setups according to MTF template and taking account four-hour Bollinger Band and Camarilla pivots? Yeah, basically, uh, yeah. New Camarilla MACD template is great. Many thanks now for this update of the MTF. Yeah, thank you, Ali, Marco, and guys. Uh, the main thing here is. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, th this is prediction now. So, you know, I cannot give you the right entry because it doesn't happen this moment. So what I do here is I'm making predictions uh, on the base in the in the name of Camerula make the MTF template and of course my knowledge of price action. So setups what I give here uh, on session recap are actually predictions. Uh, they're in contrary to uh, reaction trades that I send on my uh, Telegram channel, where currently we had around 130 uh, subscribers. And I hope that the numbers will grow, guys, because we are keeping it really, really, you know, uh, to the maximum. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm giving you uh, I'm giving you a setup based on Camarilla MACD MTF, Bonjour Benz, of course, that are included in the MTF, and these are predictions, okay? So yeah, I mean, I can say it. it is like that, but you know, guys, we don't have a signal right now. But I'm I'm thinking that if the price goes down and it rejects, it will make an inside outside close uh, into the Bollinger Band and T89 here, and it will give us a a, a long uh, trade. That's so that is what I think. Okay, guys. Uh, next uh, one is uh, actually uh, okay. Let me switch to the next one uh okay uh next setup is uh yeah let me just open it here next setup guys next setup is uh, gbp dollar uh, no trading this month due, due to brexit guys okay be careful i'm not making any and i won't be making any uh gbp news until the final vote regarding brexit is due so no trading, no this month, actually, this is this week, guys. This should read no trading this week, okay, due, due to Brexit. Okay, no trading this week due, due, uh, due to Brexit, guys, because we don't know what will happen. Uh, any bad outcome of the voting will actually down the GBP dollar and the GBP basket. Any good outcome of the voting will actually bounce uh, the complete basket on the GBP, and uh, the spike could be huge. So, guys, I'm not uh, making any trades on the GBP until the vote is due. Be smart, play smart. Market will always be here. Do not chase it because, guys, if you chase the shadow, you will never catch it. It's. I always say it's like you're chasing your girl, girlfriend or the woman you love or a girl you love if you chase it you will never catch it you need to be you need to be a man you know you need to stand strong because you know guys uh, women like strong men and she will come to you it's like the market guys let the market come to you do not be uh, do not rush into the market because if you rush you won't be doing anything it's in life everything is the same guys like, everything is the same right you know that i'm right okay uh next one uh, what i want to show you is actually uh, the australian dollar guys yeah i'm long on the australian dollar and uh, this trade is actually uh this australian dollar trade is actually being uh, carried over from my live telegram channel setup that i did today 
Uh, we had a long around 71.80. I think that if the price drops, then again, we could see a spike down, a spike to the upside. So, yeah, now it's 72.04. So, guys, we already have some profit now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Gulad, uh, yeah, okay, guys. Ilya is saying hi. Sorry for being late. Hope you will show once again. Yes, Ilya. Don't worry. Uh, setups uh, here. This is for euro dollar. We don't have a setup on GBP dollar. And uh, Gulad is saying, doesn't the weak China Chinese data impact the Aussie? Uh, I, I, well, you see, uh, I mean, I'm, I know it should uh, impact the Aussie, but now actually we have a long setup, Gulad. Uh, and uh, I did a long setup uh, on my Telegram channel uh, today. I showed uh, a live setup on the Australian dollar, and actually I'm carrying it over from the London session now to do into the New York session. And I might I, I already closed for 13 pips, then I made another trade, and that other trade now is good for 15 pips, and we also scaled out. So we made like I don't know approximately 35 pips today on the Australian dollar. So I think that the Australian dollar technically is in a correctional phase. So this is an uptrend, guys. Okay, let me open, let me open it, let me show you guys. Yeah, this triple monitor setup is really really good but i'm i now i need actually to yeah to focus on okay the australian dollar guys this is the australian dollar you see it's going up okay and it made a v v shaped reversal at the bottom here i also did the analysis i already told you guys at the beginning uh we have a good partnership and we actually form a partnership uh, uh, with fxdd okay live account here you see uh, MT4 live account uh, made a deposit ten thousand dollars, so uh, you can actually also open the account on uh, FXDD, uh, our trusted broker and a partner. And I did it. Uh, Chris and I started doing analysis with FXDD, and you will be seeing the analysis each day. So today's analysis, uh, I said that the the price will go up, and actually the price is going up. And uh, I am very, very happy that actually it's, it is following uh, my uh, levels. Uh, really, it is following uh, levels that I wanted to trade. Uh, let me move it here. Okay. So uh, let's open one hour time frame. And you see, guys, one hour time frame, double rejection, T89 pattern here. And the price is really going to the upside. Here we had a nice signal to go long, and we are going long. These are all uh, the potential trades that my Camarilla Mendia template is signaling, guys. Yeah, so uh, you can see here, uh, last week, 12 out of uh, 14 trades were successful. And uh, this week, we started with two wins, zero losses. And uh, I think that Camarilla Mendia MTF is a really brilliant, brilliant thing. And uh, yeah, for ECS Live members, it is uh, uh, of course discounted. For uh, people who already bought Camarillo Median NTF, uh, they have this upgrade for free. And uh, for all the uh, guys who, if you want to uh, grab Camarillo MACD MTF, uh, you need to use the uh, last few days. There will still be a discount, but then again, the price will definitely go up. You will find it on our website. Uh, we will increase the price of the Camarilla MTF for approximately 30%. It, it took us a lot of lot of time, investment, dedication, and our friend Carlos, who is also trading with us uh, on Telegram Group, made us this beautiful, beautiful indicator. So, yeah, uh, you see here, I, 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 on this template, uh, I'm not sure, guys, but on other template, uh, I know that it showed, uh, it showed uh, the, the T89, but I'm not sure why here. I still need to, to set up, uh, the the account as it should be because i'm running uh, also a few more accounts and uh, i know that it showed but uh, i'm not sure why it doesn't show up here but definitely definitely uh, i sent it to telegram and this setup was actually taken from the mpf template yeah maybe i should have put uh, yeah, yeah 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 the indicator yeah maybe 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 indeed but it doesn't matter now for this uh, guys this is a live webinar not many people know what camera make the mtf is all about so i would rather uh, i would rather rather skip uh, this for the next time the explanation on our camera make the webinar that will be actually hosted tomorrow so leave your questions guys please 
for a webinar tomorrow about Camarilla. Now let's focus on other setups because this is free, guys. You know, not everyone needs to have this template. I mean, these are free webinars now, this one, okay? So uh, let's keep it that way. If anyone wants to go for a Camarilla Mac DMTF, of course, just send me an email, guys, and uh, I can give you a discount uh, on, uh, in the behalf of, of uh, our company, uh, Elite Currency, ECS. Uh, dollar yen, guys, uh, I would sell it around 108.40, stop loss 108.80, uh, TP 107.80, and there is also an alternative buy 107.80, stop 107.40, TP 108.80. So uh, also multiple, multiple, multiple setups on uh, uh, the dollar yen. Okay, we'll show you now, guys, dollar yen. If the price, you see, there is a signal for potential trade. Uh, why it doesn't show my Camarilla? Uh, Camarilla, wait, guys, give me a few seconds. Yeah, I should definitely. Yeah, this is it now. Okay, guys, we have a potential situation here uh, regarding uh, the dollar yen. Uh, we have a possible uh, trade, but as I'm saying, uh, you definitely need to. You see, there is a rejection. This was successful trade. Uh, rejections from the 89, T89s here. You see here also outside, inside close. Yeah, diamonds, uh, Marubozu, da dark star, actually, dark cloud. And this is dark cloud. I, I like to call this pattern also dark star because the dark star is actually our binary company, a binary uh, star for brother, brother star to our sister star to our son. I mean, it's called dark star. So this pattern I like to call dark star. Uh, it's actually dark cloud, but you know, it can be very, very, very good. Uh, the situation here is that the price it should, okay, now it's dropping, guys, okay, but if it gets here again, I, I think that we could initiate a sell trade. Although it's a little bit late now, the markets are starting to move, uh, maybe calm, because, you know, it's like the end of the trading session, and it's Monday, so maybe uh, from this spot, there could be a, a rejection, and then uh, we could actually see a nice sell. I advise you to put a trend line here, guys. And let's no, not trade this trend line. I will unrate this one. Okay. And uh, this trend line, if the price goes up, closes below, rejects from this spot or comes close to it and then starts to reject, I think that this could be a sell opportunity. Okay. This could be a selling opportunity. Okay. Uh, next one is, uh, yeah, let me show you what is the next one. Yeah, the next one is I want to do it uh, live, but uh, after I show you a gold, uh, gold uh, potential trade, positional buy is 1285, stop loss 1280, TP 1296, then alternative sell 1296, stop loss 1301, TP 1280, so actually we have approximately 50 pip stop loss on uh, gold trades, and uh, this is uh, how it looks, okay? Gold trade is, let me find it, I will add it here, guys, symbols, okay, okay, but let's move it here. Metals, guys, XAU, USD is gold. So it's on our watch list. Okay, and this is it. Okay. You see uh, nice signals on gold, but uh, we are late now, of course. Uh, you can see uh, signals here. Uh, again, this is a Maru Bozu pattern of the T89, actually a form of a piercing line. Then a hammer right outside, inside close from the Bollinger Band. The price went up. So I think generally that, uh, yeah, there is a descending triangle indeed. But if you have, uh, if you place trend lines here, you can see the same what I see here. Oh, this one and this looks 
like a pennant here, a flagpole and a pennant. So I think that the gold also could reject to the upside, okay? So pay attention to these guys, really. I think that the gold uh, could reject to the upside. And I already showed you, but uh, this is how a gold uh, chart actually uh, looks like. And 12.85 buy, sell 12.96. Okay, and now what I wanted to show you is the BDC dollar, guys. Uh, I uh, neglect this one. This was the last uh, two weeks ago, set up from two weeks ago. Uh, now I will show you FXDD platform. And let's see, guys, just give me a few seconds. Okay. I need to bring it here. Watch list. BDC dollar, guys. Okay. Again, a few signals on the BDC dollar. Uh, yeah. Okay. And this is it, of course. I think that this could be a sell on the BDC dollar here. Uh, I would go for a sell 37.25. Again, this could be a rejection. So 37.25 is a sell, guys. And uh, potential uh, long trade. Only the price gets down to the this middle Bollinger Band line and this uh, 35 uh, 11 11. So 37 24, let's say 37 25 and 35 11. So 37 uh, 30, I will write it down, guys. Okay. Positional sell 37 25. Okay. 37 25. 37 25. Stop loss is 30. 825 TP is 3512. Okay. And uh, alternative buy is 3512. Stop loss 3412. TP 3725. Okay. If you have, guys, any other question, feel free to ask. Okay. So uh, feel free to ask me if anything uh, if there is anything you want you would like to know uh dollar cat setup let's see i will open the dollar cat chart okay okay uh dollar cat yeah the price started okay this is maybe a turnaround point for the dollar cat you see the price started to make a nice zigzag now here on the bollinger band v-shaped reversal i think guys that if the price closes above this trend line here it will go up but you see so i would say long from this spot if it drops towards this spot this is long i think Ilya. This is a counter trend trade opportunity on the dollar cap. So I would say long from this spot, short from this spot, just as a form of intraday setup. Okay. This is now a counter trend move. The Australian dollar, uh, yeah, weekly L3 could be uh, a long. Indeed. I think yes. Yes, Ilya. If it drops there even higher, even if it drops, high, if it drops a little bit higher, it could be also even if it drops here if it forms a reversal pattern it could go up but definitely this is a better spot for trading of course above this trend line is also long the australian dollar new zealand yeah as i said i don't particularly like this pair you see uh, some uh, it's not the, 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 on, it's not working very fine regarding camarilla make the mtf so i'm not paying attention to australian dollar new zealand but i say i say that the middle line is going down so i would go for a sell this could be a buy indeed uh, but this is a form of counter trend move it's not like the australian dollar uh, the, the australian dollar versus dollar it's like totally totally uh, dependent on the, the new zealand dollar data and the australian dollar combined so i would say short from this spot here maybe a counter trend long can be placed now yeah but i'm not trading this indeed and I don't think that I will be trading Australian dollar. It's very slow, very boring pair. I mean, 
there are a lot of better markets to trade than the Australian dollar, New Zealand. But regarding your question, yeah, it could possibly go up. Uh, now, uh, the question about uh, the New Zealand dollar. Okay, let's see the New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar, yeah, well, I missed this one. But good news, guys, again, I'm referring specifically to Camarilla, I mean, the MTF traders. Uh, Carlos uh, will soon uh, code us the dashboard. So when uh, we have actually <coughs> potential trade, it will be a signal on our dashboard. This was a long trade here. And I missed this long, unfortunately. But this was a long trade opportunity. Again, you see the arrow here. Perfect. This is, guys, a scholastic example of my Camarilla make the MTF trade. This could be maybe a short now, or if it closes here or there with a shooting star. Even if it closes here with a shooting star, guys, we could see maybe a possible sell. But have in mind, this could be inverted head and shoulders, rejecting from this spot and going up. So primary, Ali, this is a long trade. Maybe you spot, you had, a, you, eye, you had your eyes on this. I missed it, but this was a very, very good trade. Uh, Ilya is asking about the DAX. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, guys, here I put I'll put it on my uh, watch list. Yeah, this was long. This was long, Ilya. Actually, it showed along at this spot, double bottom, then a double pin bar rejection from the Bollinger and from the T89. So, Ilya, this is a long setup indeed, but it's already playing out, okay? So, this is a long setup that is already playing out. Yeah, I think this is a long trade indeed. L3, perfect rejection here. Yeah, maybe the target is indeed here if it breaks this high and even there. But manage your trade. Do not let your profits run and change into losses. Manage your trade. Okay, guys. Uh, I think that uh, this would be all. Uh, I will uh, roll the slides again. Uh, let's see if we will have uh, some good uh, trades also this week. I hope that we will. And definitely, as I'm saying, Camarilla Megdi is working uh, as a charm now. So, a couple uh, of more minutes, few more minutes, guys, and yeah, we are ready to call it a day. This is Euro dollar setup. This is uh, the GBP, guys. We don't trade the GBP. The Australian dollar, okay, the dollar yen, then the Bitcoin dollar, and finally gold trade. So thank you guys uh, for your uh, great comments. Thank you for your questions. Hope that this week will be fine. Uh, I will see you soon. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. We are always giving the best to you. Cheers, guys. And as I'm always saying, trade safe.